are getting some new information now about an infant death investigation in Yolo County. KTRA 3's Leticia Ordaz just spoke with the baby's grandmother. So, Leticia, what did she say? Well, good morning, Lisa. And first of all, we want to tell you we're here at the Yolo County Jail. This is where baby Justice's parents remain this morning. Moments ago, I spoke with the baby's grandmother, and she confirms to KCRA 3 that, yes, in fact, baby Justice had meth in his system when he was born on February 5th. Take a look at these pictures. These are the pictures that have pulled at the heartstrings of the entire community. And the grandmother did not want to go on camera this morning. She had her other grandchildren with her. But in a quick conversation, Patty Reese said it was the baby's mother, Samantha Green, who told her baby Justice had meth in his system the day she delivered, and that's the reason they had to keep him in the NICU for extra days. And CPS has an open case, had an open case on the newborn after they were alerted by the hospital. I did speak with the baby's father, Frank Reese, from jail yesterday and in a jailhouse interview when I asked him directly about drug use and whether Samantha was on drugs. He refused to answer that question. He did not want to talk about it. But but again, his mother, the baby's grandmother, is confirming this morning that, yes, Samantha Green, the baby's mother, confirmed that the baby did have meth in his system when he was born. Both parents will make their first court appearance tomorrow afternoon. And as for the baby, no word yet when baby Justice will be laid to rest. Reporting live here in Woodland, I'm Leticia Ordaz, KCRA 3 News. So was she also, uh, Leticia, able to indicate whether or not she thinks her son will be getting out of jail anytime soon? I asked her whether her son would post bail, and she did not answer that question. She had her grandchildren with her, and she quickly slammed the door. She just wanted to clarify about the drug use. Okay, and Leticia, did she all, I know in that very quick conversation that you had with her, did she say at all that maybe there were concerns even before uh, the baby was found dead because CPS had been called to the hospital on day one? Well, Lisa, it was just a very quick conversation. She was getting her grandchildren ready for school. She is now taking care of Frank Reese's four other children, so she did not get into that. She just wanted to clarify the fact that, yes, baby Justice did have meth in his system when he was born. Lisa and Deirdre. All right, Leticia, thank you. The very latest live out there this morning. Let's go ahead and switch.